The mysteries of ancient Egypt have fascinated us for centuries, but nothing arouses our curiosity more than the allure of its lost tombs. This fascination is not merely born out of idle curiosity or an insatiable thirst for adventure. Rather, it is a yearning to uncover the secrets of a civilization that has long been shrouded in mystery. These tombs, silent and somber, represent more than just the final resting place of Egypt's pharaohs. They are a testament to the grandeur and opulence of an era long past, preserving the history and treasures of the ancient Egyptians. Each tomb, each artifact, each inscription is a page in the grand book of Egyptian history waiting to be read, waiting to reveal its secrets. The allure of ancient Egypt is not just about the pyramids, the sphinx, or the golden treasures. It's about the stories that lie buried beneath the desert sands. Stories of pharaohs and their divine rule of a civilization that was once the envy of the world. The search for these lost tombs is an ongoing journey, a quest that transcends time. The quest to unearth Egypt's hidden treasures started centuries ago. Napoleon's savants began the hunt, their explorations uncovering the first glimmers of Egypt's buried past. In the early 19th century, the world of archaeology was on the cusp of a revolution. The savants, scholars who accompanied Napoleon Bonaparte on his Egyptian campaign, were among the first to systematically explore the ancient land. They were not just adventurers, but scientists, linguists, engineers and artists. A team assembled to peel back the layers of time and bring the ancient civilization to light. Their findings were astonishing. They discovered a world that had lain dormant beneath the sands for millennia. A world of hieroglyphs and obelisks, of temples and tombs. The savant's work resulted in several significant findings, the most notable of which were the Rosetta Stone, the key to deciphering hieroglyphs, and the description de l'Egypte, a comprehensive record of ancient Egypt's civilization. Following in the wake of Napoleon's savants was the intrepid Giovanni Battista Belzoni, an Italian explorer and archaeologist. Belzoni's explorations in the early 19th century led to the discovery of several tombs, including that of Rameses I. These early discoveries added a new depth to our understanding of Egypt's ancient history, revealing the grandeur of the pharaohs and their eternal quest for immortality. The work of these pioneers laid the foundation for future explorations. They were the first to bring the ancient world of Egypt into the light, to reveal its secrets, and to begin the process of understanding its complex history. These early discoveries not only fascinated the world, but also ignited a passion for Egyptology that still burns brightly today. These early discoveries would only be the beginning of a much grander narrative. The early 19th century marked a golden age in the search for Egypt's pharaohs. One name stands out during this period, Giovanni Battista Belzoni. The Italian explorer and archaeologist Giovanni Battista Belzoni, a man of many talents, was a key player in this epic of discovery. Known for his incredible physical strength and daring spirit, Belzoni was no stranger to the risks and challenges that came with exploring the long-lost tombs of ancient Egypt's pharaohs. His most significant contribution to Egyptology was undoubtedly his discovery of the tomb of Rameses I, a pharaoh from the New Kingdom. This tomb, hidden deep in the Valley of the Kings, held precious relics and inscriptions that provided priceless insights into the life and reign of Rameses I. But Belzoni didn't stop there. His relentless quest for knowledge led him to uncover several other tombs, each one a treasure chest filled with artifacts and historical records. These findings were not just about gold and precious stones. They were a rich source of information, shedding light on the customs, beliefs, and artistic sensibilities of the ancient Egyptians. The significance of Belzoni's discoveries cannot be overstated. They opened a window into an era long past, enabling historians and archaeologists to piece together the complex tapestry of ancient Egypt's civilization. 
The tombs he unearthed provided a direct link to the pharaohs themselves, offering glimpses into their lives and reigns that were otherwise lost to time. Belzoni's work also set the stage for future explorations. His methods, though sometimes unconventional, paved the way for later archaeologists. He inspired a new generation of explorers to continue the quest for knowledge, to dig deeper into the sands of Egypt, and to unravel the many mysteries that still lie buried within its ancient tombs. Belzoni's findings were a triumph, revealing a timeless snapshot of ancient Egypt's grandeur. In 1922, the world held its breath as Howard Carter unveiled the most significant discovery of all time, the tomb of Tutankhamun. This momentous event marked a milestone in the field of archaeology, shedding light on an era shrouded in mystery and unveiling a treasure trove of ancient Egyptian artifacts. Carter's team had stumbled upon a step leading down to the sealed tomb, hidden away in the Valley of the Kings for over 3,000 years. The tomb of the boy king Tutankhamun was a time capsule, a window into the past unrivaled in its richness and preservation. As Carter and his team gingerly navigated the labyrinthine corridors of the tomb, they were met with an array of treasures that left them and the world in awe. Golden chariots, ornate thrones, and an array of intricate jewelry painted a vivid picture of the luxurious life led by the young pharaoh. But the crown jewel of the discovery was the solid gold coffin holding the mummy of Tutankhamun himself. The exquisite craftsmanship and the sheer weight of the gold, over 240 pounds, underscored the importance and reverence accorded to the pharaohs in life and in death. The discovery of the tomb was not merely a treasure hunt, it was a key to understanding a civilization that had been lost to the sands of time. The artifacts bore witness to the sophistication and prowess of the ancient Egyptian society, their understanding of art, culture, and their deeply ingrained belief in life after death. The meticulously preserved tomb also provided invaluable insights into the burial rituals and practices, the hieroglyphics adorning the walls, narrating tales of the pharaoh's journey to the afterlife, and the pantheon of gods they worshipped. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb was a pivotal moment, forever etching Egypt's ancient wonders into our collective consciousness. It was a revelation that reverberated around the globe, igniting an insatiable curiosity about ancient Egypt and its enigmatic pharaohs, a fascination that continues to captivate us to this day. The search for Egypt's lost tombs didn't end with Tutankhamun. Modern explorers continue to dig deeper, hoping to unearth more of Egypt's hidden past. In the annals of modern archaeology, the name Brian Emery stands out. This intrepid explorer, in the 1960s and 1970s, set his sights on a prize that had eluded Egyptologists for centuries, the tomb of Imhotep. This ancient figure was no ordinary citizen. He was an architect, a physician, and a prominent personality of ancient Egypt. His tomb, if discovered, could hold secrets and treasures that would redefine our understanding of the era. Emery's quest was not an easy one. The desert sands of Egypt are a formidable adversary, hiding secrets in their depths and often giving away nothing on the surface. But the challenge was part of the allure. Each shovel of sand removed, each artifact unearthed, brought with it a sense of exhilarating discovery, a feeling of touching a past that had remained silent for millennia. But it wasn't just about the thrill. These modern quests for lost tombs hold immense potential rewards. Each discovery, each artifact, each hieroglyph adds a new piece to the puzzle of ancient Egypt. They reveal insights about their society, their beliefs, their lives, and their deaths. They bring us a step closer to understanding a civilization that, thousands of years after its demise, still holds us in its thrall. And so, the modern quest for Egypt's lost tombs continues. New expeditions set off, armed with the latest technology and an unquenchable thirst for discovery. They delve into the sands, into the depths of the pyramids, and into the heart of Egypt's past, always hoping to find the next Tutankhamun, the next Imhotep, the next key to unlocking the secrets of this ancient civilization. The quest for Egypt's lost tombs continues each new discovery shedding light on a civilization that continues to captivate us.
The allure of ancient Egypt's lost tombs remains as strong as ever, their mysteries beckoning us to explore further. We've journeyed through the sands of time, from the early discoveries to the golden age of tomb exploration, culminating in the monumental unearthing of Tutankhamun's tomb. Our quest, however, is far from over. The modern age sees us persist in our pursuit, armed with advanced technology and an insatiable curiosity. The tombs of pharaohs and eminent individuals like Imhotep still elude us, their locations hidden within the vast expanses of the Valley of the Kings. Each potential discovery is a tantalizing prospect, promising to shed new light on the rich tapestry of ancient Egypt's history. The enduring mystery of these lost tombs captivates us, the thrill of the unknown spurring us onwards. Even as we unearth treasures and decipher hieroglyphs, more questions emerge, fueling our fascination. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of ancient Egypt, we are reminded of our enduring fascination with this timeless civilization.